Here is arguably some of the strongest evidence we have suggesting that red meat intake can increase the risk of type 2 diabetes. And yes, this applies to unprocessed red meat as well. This new study included data from over 200,000 nurses and doctors in the U.S. who were followed for three decades and had their diet, lifestyle, and health information collected every two to four years. They found that those consuming the most red meat had a 62% higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes, while processed and unprocessed red meat were each associated with a 51% and 40% higher risk respectively. And this was after adjusting for confounding variables like physical activity, smoking status, and fruit and vegetable intake, for example. There was also a pretty clear dose response where you can see that as red meat intake increases, so does risk without an apparent plateau. And when they also adjusted for BMI, there was still a significant increase in risk, but it wasn't as large, suggesting that BMI accounted for about 50% or more of the association. But it didn't account for all of the associations, suggesting that red meat may increase the risk by mechanisms other than weight gain, depending on what it's replacing, of course, which is supported by a previous randomized crossover trial comparing red meat to legumes. They also conducted several additional analyses and found that the risk might actually be greater than was initially reported when they used methods that more accurately estimate the participant's dietary intake. And lastly, they evaluated how replacing red meat with other foods could impact risk, and they found that replacing a single serving of total, processed, or unprocessed red meat with either nuts, legumes, or dairy could significantly reduce one's risk of developing type 2 diabetes.